Welcome back to the video guys. My name is Daryl Wilson and today I'm doing a special review on a free theme. That's right, free theme. Now I never do reviews on free themes, but this theme right here is actually revolutionary. It's gonna really change the game for a lot of other themes because it is, it is the first ever WordPress theme to have a theme builder with the actual theme customizer. There is no page builder doing the theme building. It is the actual customizer. Now I'm just gonna give you a quick preview of it. We'll talk about the theme and then we'll talk about why I think you should be using this theme and not using the page builder for your header and your footer, okay? So first off, this is my website and it's just some girl just you know being, being an idiot. And then over here you can see my header. So take a look at this header right here. And now I have this header right here. You notice that the header is completely different right here. So right here you can see that uh, the menu, this looks like crap obviously, but I was just kind of messing around with it. Now I have a custom header for my, my regular page and my shop page. Now I actually have a third custom header as well with display conditions. And I'll talk more about that in just a bit. But over here, if I click on my product page, now I have a third custom header for any part of the website. So with this, you can see it's very dynamic. I can go ahead and add a custom header and footer for every specific part of my website. And this is actually the theme customizer doing it. It's not the page builder. And again, I will talk, I'll talk about why you should be doing this rather than using the actual page builder. Now this theme is called Customify. And uh, you can go through the WordPress repository and it'll be under, well, actually you have to type it in. Now this right here is a little bizarre here. Let, let's, let's just address this really quickly. Why the hell is Velux and Hello and Elementor b uh, ahead of OceanWP and Astra? Because they only have, you know, 30,000 active installs and then you have GoDaddy's theme, which sounds very, you know, sounds very strange. They only have 20,000 and it's a child theme. And then you have Astra and Ocean MVP with 300,000 and 400,000. So something's amiss right there. If anyone wants to know, if anyone knows what's going on, please let me know. I would like to know if, if WordPress has taken bribes or I don't know what's going on there, but that just looks a little fishy to me. So over here, you'll type in customify. Now they also do have a website and it is called pressmaximum.com. I'm not an affiliate. They don't even have an affiliate program. So I don't make any money doing this video. So don't think I'm just trying to sell you something. In fact, it's a free theme. So uh, I get people who are saying, well, Daryl, you know, you're just doing it because you want commissions. No, I, I really don't. It's like, I really don't. So this is the theme right here, Customify. And it has around 30,000 plus active installs, 85 plus positive reviews with zero, zero one star reviews, zero two star, zero three star, zero four star. So you can take my word for it that the theme is really, it deserves recognition. And um, again, you can go ahead and install it and download it. And it actually has a starter website as well, just like Astra does. And we'll talk more about the actual features of it and everything, but I wanna show you the actual, the theme builder. So the theme builder is basically pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty simple to use. So here, for example, I am editing categories. So right here, you can see that I named this category. And here you can kind of see that I can kind of move these around and you're gonna see that my logo is right there. Uh, maybe I wanna add in an icon box right here, a wish list. You know, you kind of get it. They have a lot of elements and icons that you can use. Of course, this will look like crap after I do it, but I'm just basically showing you uh, what you can do with this. Now right here are the display conditions right here. I put that I want this on my singular and then I put the product categories and then I decided to put all of them. Now you can go a step further and have it for each specific product category. I mean, if you really, really wanna get dynamic and you have a really pain in the ass client who wants some really stupid stuff, you can go ahead and do that. But you get what I'm saying here. You get, you get what I'm saying is that there's no limitations. In fact, you can add multiple conditions. You can say, I want this on the entire site or I want this on a certain archive page and then you can kind of, you know, you can kind of go through and, you know, add it wherever you want. But um, the reason why I feel that this is actually groundbreaking is because this is the actual theme that's actually making the theme builder. Now, the reason why I believe that's important is because when you do this, basically you have a, 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 a what is it called? A header and a footer PHP file. Now, when you decide to use the actual page builder, the problem is that Google doesn't really know that you have a, a, a header and a, a footer. They don't know because as far as they're concerned, it's just a long page of content, right? So with this theme right here, it's actively telling Google what the header, where the header starts and where the footer is so you can actually get a better score on Google. Now, I can't say for 100% if the theme builders are 
I guess you can say having a negative effect on your website. But I mean, as far as Google's concerned, you have no you have no PHP header file. You have no footer file, dude. It's like how can Google properly rank your website without having a footer and a header a a a header PHP file and a footer PHP file. Because again, as far as Google's concerned, it's just one long, long, long page of content. But with this right here, you actually have a header PHP file and a footer PHP file. So when Google does scan it, they will be able to recognize, okay, this is your actual header. This right here is your actual footer. So when I see the page builders acting as, as you know, a header and a footer, I'm not against it. I mean, I'm not trying to write on anyone's parade. I do think it's revolutionary what those page builders have done, but it's just not natural and it's not organic because again, the theme isn't doing it, the page builder is. And although it looks like a header and although it looks like a footer, technically it's not. And in Google's eyes, they're basically saying you have no header and you have no footer. So we don't really know what damage is that done. We don't know if it's gonna rank your site lower. We, I really can't say for, for 100% what it will do to your site, but I would feel a little bit more comfortable if the actual WordPress theme acted as my header and my footer, because again, it's telling Google uh, that we do have a header and a footer option. So besides these other options right here, uh, Customify offers a lot of other features. So again, transparent header, header sticky, a header and a footer builder as well, which I just showed you, a scroll to top, the blog, they actually have a lot of really nice features for WooCommerce. So if you are running an e-commerce store, they have a WooCommerce booster, which offers various different styles and layouts for your products and also category pages as well. And again, right here, you can see that the list goes on and on and on. So right here, the WooCommerce Builder, um, custom fonts, cookie notice, etc., infinity scroll, and they have a lot of other features. You can also check out their features right here. Now, I will say this though, they do have some pro features that other themes have for free. Now, I don't think that's worth, I don't think that's really worth judging a theme because you know, right here we have the transparent header. Now by default, Astra has a transparent header for free. Uh, scroll to top, I believe OceanWP has that feature in their free version as well. But again, you know, most of us are probably gonna end up purchasing the theme anyway. So it, it, in the end, it really doesn't matter. But by looking at this right here, I'm gonna have to say that this theme offers a little bit more than Astra. In fact, it offers, it offers everything Astra does but a little bit more. Now, the only thing Astra really has on this theme is their layouts. Astra has tons of layouts. So if you do want a custom template really fast, uh, Astra is the way to go. OceanWP, OceanWP doesn't have that many because I think they released too many of their features for free. And I think the developers were like, damn dude, we, we released too many features for free and now we're not making any money. So I guess all of their, their templates now are uh, pros or they have, they have very few free ones. But again, you know, this theme is definitely worth checking out. It is the first, theme ever, ever to have a custom header and footer builder with the actual theme options. And again, right here, I'll go ahead and talk about some other features they have. So right here, we can see that this is my my main my, my main website. Actually, I'll go over here. And we over here, I'll go to WooCommerce. And then right here, we have a product catalog. And there are a lot of options with this theme. So it is very, yeah, and they, they have basically everything covered, you know? So right here, if you want to basically, you know, change the way your stuff's positioned, you can go ahead and do that as well. Uh, right here, tons of options, you know, how you wanna display it. And I'm gonna be very honest here. I'm not gonna go over every option in this video because I mean, just look at this. They have so many options for this theme and it's simply incredible. I mean, I don't think OceanWP even comes close to the amount of options that this has to decorate your products as well. So over here, single product page, you can kind of go ahead and decide to change the layout. So right here, this is your default, or you can have a top gallery boxed, you can have a top gallery full width, and a left gallery grid. And of course, there's other options right here, you know, enable zoom, enable light box, et cetera. And then you can kind of go through all of these and check these out. Of course, right here, I probably should not have, you know, added that image in, I probably should have added something that looks a little bit better. But you get the idea, you know, actually by kind of messing around with this, you'll understand it. Um, over here, checkout, you can actually add some features for the checkout and also the cart page as well. I uh, just had in the cross sells, that's not too big, but there are some, you know, things to take notes. Product images, that's pretty standard. Uh, product catalog, again, basically, basically standard stuff. They also have different blog layouts as well. So the blog post, you can see there's various different layouts. Uh, there's four right here, and you can go ahead and change the actual columns as well. There are other options with the, you know, the article uh, header. You can get extremely customizable here. I mean, you can change everything with the actual theme customizer, which I like because I don't always wanna use the page builder for things like blogs because 
I feel the theme acts better for that because when someone clicks on like the custom post type, it'll, it'll, it'll it might reverse back to the actual theme and then people will be like, what is this? It's a different website, you know what I mean? So uh, I, I do like the fact that they offer so much features uh, in this theme. So again, I really think it's worth checking out. If you're using Astro, you should Ocean WP, like again, I'm saying don't dump them, but just, just take a look, you know, just take a look, browse around, see if this theme's for you. Again, it should save all of your content if you switch over because, um, you know, you're just using the actual theme. You're not really using the page builder here. So um, compatibility issues as well. And you can kind of go and check these out. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at this theme, I do think it's worth the recognition. A lot of other people are saying it's good. Um, the guy from Themile is saying it's pretty good. You got some other you know, testimonials. And it's only you know $59 for the year if you decide to go to the pro version. So it's really not that expensive. And um, they offer a 20% renewal discount as well. So again, let me know what you think about this theme. I've I've seen it for a bit and I was kind of messing around with it for a while. I was using a lot of other free themes. And uh, when I saw the, the theme header and footer builder with the actual customizer, I said, hmm, this looks, this looks very interesting here. So uh, I decided to do a video on it. And also right here, they have imp they have demo websites so if you want to go ahead and get some free demo websites they do offer that for free as well in their free version so i hope this video was helpful go ahead and check out customify again it's a free theme i think that if you're running a wordpress site it is definitely worth checking out again let me know what you think about this theme in the comments below and i hope you're having a good day and i will see you guys all in the next video